Hello, this is Enoyatollah Maliki. Today I want to show you a rapid method of two digit by two digit multiplication. My goal is to show you how you can do the multiplication off the top of your head. This method consists of three steps. So let's jump to it and get started. Okay, I have chosen a very simple problem to explain the method and what is the product of 36 and 50. So to explain the method, the first step, step is that write these two digits as I have written here, as we used to write in the traditional method for multiplication of two numbers. These two digits are the unit digit. These two digits are the tens digit. So in the first step, we multiply the unit digits. So six into five is 30. Zero goes to the first location and that is the unit digit of our product. And three is carry over to the next step. Let's move to the next step now. Okay, so in the next step, we do cross multiplication. So we multiply three into five and one into six. And we add the three, which is our carryover to the result of this uh, operation. So three into five is 15, one into six is six, and three is three is the carryover from the previous system. 15 plus six plus three is 24. Four goes to the second location from the right-hand side of our product and that is the tens digit of our product. Now let's move to the third step. In the third step, we multiply the tens digit of both numbers and add the result to the carryover from the previous step. Three into one is three and two is the carryover from the previous step because we had 24, four just uh, was placed in the second location of our product and two remained as carryover. So three plus one plus two is five. We move five to the third location and zero to the fourth location. So our product is 540. To understand the procedure, I have another example also. Let's see what is this one. Okay, in this example, I have chosen 89 and 73. As you can see, the way I have written is, seems to be different, but although the order that we have put all these are somehow a little bit different, but we do the same thing. Now I will explain how it is the same thing. The first thing we do, we multiply the unit digits and we did the same thing in the previous example. So nine into three is 27. Seven goes to the first location of our product. And that is the unit digit of our product. And two is the carryover to the next step. In the next step, which is the second step, we do cross multiplication. In cross multiplication, we multiply the close digits and the digits that are far from each other. So we multiply eight into three and nine into seven when we add the 
carryover, which is two to the result. So eight into three is 24, nine into seven is 63 plus two. And the result is 89. Nine goes to the second location of our product and that is the 10th digit of the product. In the third step, we multiply the 10th digit. So 10th digit of this number is eight and seven. Eight into seven. And we add the carryover also to the result. So 18 to seven is 56 plus eight is 64. Four goes to the third location of our product and six goes to the fourth location. So our product is 6,497. I have another example also. Let's see what is the other example. Okay, it seems the way I have written the operation is somehow uh, is much smaller and is reduced to uh, something different. But uh, here also we have the three steps, one, two, three, and the numbers we have 23, 46. The first thing we do we multiply the unit digits, three into six. Three into six is 18. Eight goes to the uh, first location from the right-hand side, and that is the unit digit of our product. In the second step, we do cross multiplication. So in cross multiplication, as I explained the previous example, we multiply the closed digits and the four digits. So three into four plus two into six plus one, which is the carryover. Three into four is 12, two into six is 12, 12 plus 12 is 24, plus one is 25. Five goes to the second location from the right-hand side, and that is the 10th digit of our product. Now, in the third step, we multiply the tens digit of both numbers, two and four, two into four, and we add the carryover, which is two to the result, and we obtain 10. Zero goes to the third location, and one goes to the fourth location. So our product is 1,058. I have few examples here also, so you can uh, do these uh, few examples to understand the operations and the procedure better. But I'm going to do the first one without using a pen or pencil or a calculator or writing anything on this place. Let's see how it works. And that is our aim. That is what we want to achieve. So first we multiply the unit digits. Two and five are the unit digits. Two into five is 10. So zero remains as the unit digit of our product. Memorize it. And then we multiply the, we do cross multiplication. So in cross multiplication, close digits, two and one, two into one is two. And the four digits, one into five is five, plus two is seven. And we had one as the carryover. We add that one, it's going to be eight. So our product so far is zero and eight from right hand side. Now multiply the tens digit of both numbers. Both numbers, tens digit is one. We have one here, we have one here. One into one is one. So we put one also on the left hand side of eight. So the result is 108. 
AT. And you can see that without writing anything, I could uh, obtain the result of this multiplication. Thanks for watching my video.